In this video, we're going to take a look at RK Hunter. If you're a Cyber Patriot competitor, RK Hunter will check for rootkits. Pretty easy install, pretty easy to run for this one. Not as in depth necessarily as Clam AV, although the configuration file has a lot that you can do. We're just going to look at the simple functionality here. Apt install. RK Hunter and when you do that it will prompt you go ahead and enter that'll take a second it'll prompt you for uh, your mail configuration you'll get like an interactive dialog go ahead and choose local only I think I've already got mine installed so pause the video get that set up the first thing we'll go ahead and run is we'll update it with um, RK Hunter hyphen hyphen P R O P U P D and that'll go through and it will do an update for us. And in order to run it, it's pretty simple. Just do an RK Hunter hyphen hyphen check. And it's going to start to run through the system and it's going to start to look at binaries. So I'm going to give this a second. I'm going to let it run because we're going to evaluate some of the output. And here it comes. Uh, it's looking in SBIN. Um, we've got, it's basically chugging through the system path right now. And eventually it'll say, okay, there'll be times when it will spit out a warning, just like it did here. It may spit out something else in red that indicates that we have a problem. I'm going to go ahead and hit control C at this point just to stop that. Now, RK Hunter will utilize the root, the path, file path that is utilized for root, and that's what it was checking, the root file path. We can add directories to that if we want. So I can do pico etsy rkhunter.conf, and I'll just do a control W to search. For user bin, probably you'll get me something. There we go. And down at the bottom here, um, this right here, these bind directories are directories that we can add in addition to um, the root path, which is the default search that RK Hunter is going to check through. If you want to add other directories, you can do that here. So after pulling that warning, uh, we didn't get a lot of help with that. We don't know why it was a warning. So we can pico var log rkhunter.log. It's going to be our output. I'm going to do a control W and I'm going to search for the word warning. And that's not it. So I'll hit control W and then I'll just hit enter again. and It'll automatically search for the next one. That's number two. Here's number three. And it tells me that uh, this was the LWP request has been replaced by a script and it's not a binary, it's a Perl script. Now, if you're not used to seeing that or you are not prepared to see that a certain binary has been replaced by a script, this is a pretty default install, so I'm not too worried about it. That would definitely be something that you would want to investigate if a binary has been replaced by a script. So that's where we get our more detailed output. Um, that rkhunter.comp file, uh, if you're interested in tweaking it and reading about RK Hunter and figuring out um, all of the different things we can do with it, uh, it's pretty well commented, you know. Um, and you can get more information as well. Where's the database? Right here, you know. Okay, so that is it for RK Hunter. Pretty short, pretty sweet. In the next video, we will look at uh, Linux Malware Detect.